this morning let us pray father we thank you for this wonderful day that you have made thank you for the life that you gave to us it's a brand new day with his blessings just as your word say you daily load us with benefits as we are exalted of this world bless us incline us as spirit and soul our body to yearn more for you in the name of Jesus Amen this morning we'll be looking at an altogether different teaching is our topic this morning our test is Mark 6 31 Therefore, take no thought, saying, What we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewith shall we be clothed? Matthew 6 31. An altogether different teaching. The gospel seems to come as a challenge to us. As a condemnation of what we have habitually believed. Our Lord put it like this. He says in Matthew 6 31, Therefore, take no thought, say, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or where we shall we be close? And then in verse 32, For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. Now we must remember that he was preaching to the Jews, to people who had received their whole testament scripture, who regarded themselves as the people of God, who were concerned about God, about righteousness, and that the vision of the ancient world to them was, of course, Jews and Gentiles, those who had received this religion. And those who had not, in what is an equally appropriate classification in our day, an age and generation. The Gentiles are those who do not know the revelation. They are people who trust their own thoughts and their own ideas, who live as if God has never been pleased to reveal anything at all concerning himself so the division is as appropriate now as it ever has been and the point i am making is that our lord emphasizes the great facts that what it teaches is altogether different from everything that has ever been taught by man or conjured up in man's mind or imagination. This again is very important preliminary point that we must never lose sight of it. The Christian position, the Christian way of life is not only slightly different from every other, it is essentially different. It is something that stands out alone and unique. And apart, a thought to ponder. The Christian point, the Christian position, stand out alone, unique, and apart. May the Lord bless this word in our hearts, in Jesus' name. May the day favor us. As we step out, we will begin to enjoy overflow, God's glory, God's miracle. All signs and celebration. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Don't forget to join me tomorrow for another exhortation. Till then, stay blessed.